Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Hooked on OC here on WMDT TV 47. We're in Sunset Provisions right now and we're bringing you so the next segment we're going to bring you every single week, the Angler's Advantage. I'm with Brian Tinkler right here in the front door of the store and as we move into the off season and weather starts getting chilly outside, not right now, but as it starts to get chilly outside, people are going to start thinking winterization, and we're here to talk about that right now. Brian, thanks again for joining us. Good to see you, Scott. Yeah, good to see you, too. If you don't mind, you guys have an awesome selection of winterization products here. Why don't you yep. give me a rundown on how things work? Uh, we, you know, we got you covered from top to bottom through uh, your crankcase lubricants for straight inboard boats and diesel boats, right through all your outboard oils, freshwater non-toxic antifreeze, uh, heat exchanger antifreeze, the uh, raw water side antifreeze, right through your your uh, salt terminator, boat magic for descaling and uh, cleaning out your hoses and seawater systems, and all the lubricants and everything for whether it be steering cables, throttle cables, uh, seawater valves, whatever needs to be uh, lubricated to be put away for the winter. Speaking specifically of the antifreeze, you can cut one of these and you cannot cut the other one. Correct? Yeah, there's always a lot of confusion on the antifreeze. The, the Freeze Band 50 is domestic antifreeze, non-toxic. You can drink it straight out of the bottle if you want. Uh, that antifreeze is for uh, water systems. Right. You can use it in gray water systems if you want to. Anything that you want to use a corrosive inhibitor on or anything like that, like running through AC system or through uh, the raw water side of engine systems, you want to use the freeze band 50 on mechanical system I mean, type I mean, stuff. The uh, band frost 2000. Okay. It has corrosive inhibitors on it. It'll actually coat and lubricate the internal parts and prevent them from being damaged over the winter from being dried out and, and rusting up or anything like that. Gotcha. Uh, the freeze band 50 use straight just as it is, and the uh, band frost 2000 you can cut up to 50 percent and still get uh, freeze protection well below zero with fresh water. Cut that with fresh water. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. And you guys have got a whole line of diesel type stuff too on this display. But, Tell me yeah, about you this. You got a lot of additives and treatments there. Uh, any type of fuel, whether we conventional gasoline, ethanol blended gasoline, or diesel fuel, you want to use a stabilizer in the in the fuel to uh, prevent phase separation in right. the case of the ethanol, which is really the you know the the biggest problem that people have with gasoline products. Uh, and as far as for conventional gasoline and diesel fuel, the, um, the additives will help maintain your octane level in gasoline and cetane level in, uh, in diesel fuel. Okay, you guys do a lot of the hauling right here at Sunset Marina. Huge slip for large boats up to how big? Uh, we haul boats. We just hauled a 78-footer. So, so anything yeah. short of about 80 feet. Uh, right down to a John boat. You'll haul and block those, and then you also have the boat tail over here. So when people bring their boat out of the water, they're going to do a lot of stuff, not just winterization as far as the um, engines and water systems are concerned. They do cushions and all sorts of things like that. That's what this stuff is for. Yeah, I mean, we have a little bit of everything here with some <clears throat> interior products to prevent moisture from damaging the inside of the boat. I always recommend for people that are closing up the boats and leaving them for the winter, anything they can do to get cushions, blankets, towels off the boat, right. take them, put them in a, a controlled environment and everything will help prevent uh, moisture damage in the, in the boat over the winter. A lot of people don't understand with the, with the, the cold and the, and the boat being contained and everything, you get condensation in the boat and, you know, particularly if you have natural fiber fabrics where that's going to go, it. it's going right. to attract it and you, you, you can end up with damage that way. You know, if you can, uh, the boats are going to be under tended, anything you can do to leave hatches propped open to uh, circulation. promote airflow yep. and circulation and everything can also minimize that. We have some uh, damp away dehumidifiers or chemical dehumidifiers don't require any electric or anything like that. You can put those in there and they'll capture a lot of the moisture in the air. Something that can be, you know, uh, you know, for say a 20 foot small cabin boat or mm -hmm. something, one large one will do or, you know, you get a 45, 50 footer, you might want to use three or four of those things. And it's the kind of thing that can be serviced throughout the winter too. If you visit the boat a couple yep. times through the winter, and uh, and you you recommend putting those in there anyhow, even if you take your cushions and stuff out. Absolutely, you? I think so yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. If absolutely. you've got headliners and things like that, that's right. That are yeah, you get a lot right. of fabric. Right. You're not going to be able to get off the boat. Gotcha. And I see that you have do-it-yourself kits. So for the guys that want to do everything by themselves, save a couple of bucks. But you also recommend professionals out there well, we on have, property. We, yeah, we okay. have a load of professionals. You can contact the marine office, or on our website, we have a list of approved contract contractors that have. 
uh, the credentials to work on the property, that being uh, business license, insurance to protect both okay. the boat owner and the marine operator. And uh, we've kind of qualified these folks to, to be professionals to work yeah. on your boat. Uh, you know, there's lots of tricks to the trade. Uh, happy to share many of them. This winterization kit is kind of a, a formal uh, technology to something that right. a lot of guys use a, a simple five gallon bucket and a through haul <laughs> right. with a valve to right. use to allow you to, to stage your antifreeze, whether you're running it through a, a muff system on a uh, inboard outboard or an IO or something like that. You stage the antifreeze in the, in the system and just as you start the motor, you can crack the valve open and then the antifreeze is ready to go there. Um, you know, as far as on the freshwater side, you know, some kind of professional tips and everything. Uh, most boats above 25 feet are going to have a hot water heater on them. Anything due to bypass that hot water heater would be a, a great suggestion. Just go around it. Yeah, because yep. those hot water heaters are going to carry two to four or five gallons sure. of antifreeze in them. So you, if it's accessible, and some of these boats seem like they were built around the hot water heaters, but if right. they're accessible, go to the hot water heater, disconnect the hot side, disconnect the cold side. Put the two together we have hoses and fittings here available to do that you can do it probably for under 10 bucks and that's a you know that rig you can use over and over and over right. again hook those two together drain the hot water heater pour just a small amount maybe like a couple of cups full of antifreeze directly into the water heater so nothing's laying on the bottom right. run this through right through the water system you bypass that when you're done, put it all back together gotcha. so it's ready to go in the spring. Save yourself a case of antifreeze, basically. Well, I mean, not only that, I mean, we're in the business of selling antifreeze, but sure. commissioning the boat in the springtime. If you take small preparations like that, you know, when you commission the boat in the spring, you instantly have fresh water and everything instead of spending half the summer trying to, you know, get Burns this stuff out, out of yeah, the system. Right, right. You know, another thing we like to do when, you, when you're winterizing the boat is go directly to the water pump. And if you can disconnect the feed from the water pump, drain the tank right into the bilge, and then connect your supply side, that prevents you from having to dump 15 gallons of this stuff in your water yeah, tank. Wow. If you got a you know, 60, 80 gallon water tank, just to get to the pickup, you gotta get eight, 10 gallons of this stuff right. in there. So that's another little trick. Then you know, drain that water tank down, you pour maybe a half a gallon or a gallon of this just so you have it laying on the bottom of the tank. And same thing, uh, you know, when you go to commission in the springtime, it's ready to you, go. You know, yeah, you're ready to go, and you have fresh water for the whole summer, and it's not that nasty stuff that uh, you can't stand to smell, you're much, all much less long. drink. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's obviously you guys are more about the customer and the customer service stuff because you could have just as easily said, yeah, come on in, buy as much antifreeze as you need, but these tips are going to help people save a couple of bucks, yeah. and that's what we'll have them coming in here and get this kind of thing. Yeah, and, and, and lots of that stuff, <clears throat> they can do it themselves. Right. You know, other things people overlook, you know, gray boxes like shower drains and everything, it's important. You know, you can just take a little bit of freeze band 50, drop, drop it in the, your, your uh, shower sumps, uh, bilge sump areas, anything like that, anywhere water is going to lay. And, and uh, you know, those pumps and everything can be, if there's water sitting in there, those pumps, if it freezes in there, it'll destroy the pump. You know, have to replace it in the spring. Yeah, very true. Website information. You said your list of vendors is on the website. What's the website? We, we do. Uh, www.ocsunsetmarina.com. And there's a list of approved vendors that work on our property, and that's something that uh, folks even in the immediate area can use as a resource, uh, you know, to call in professionals to help yep. them winterize their boats. And the number here at Sunset Provisions to get a hold of this stuff. Uh, 410-213-0081. Just inside the west entrance of Sunset Marina on Sunset Avenue, right out front. Brian, thank you very much. We thank appreciate you. it so much. Guys, stay tuned in just a second. We'll be back with more Hooked on OC.